My name is uh, Fadl Gate. I'm Can you move that forward in the mic? Just pull it forward there. Good morning. Good morning. We're on. We're on. Uh, over the last 12 months, as you all stated, oil prices more than doubled. But industry fundamentals have little changed. Uh, the same uh, old factors, uh, supply disruption, uh, Nigeria, uh, Venezuela, Iraq, Iran, uh, all these factors were already embedded or reflected in oil prices a year ago when oil prices were $65. Nothing I can think of that changed over the last 12 months with the exception of the devaluation of the dollar that caused oil prices to more than double. I have been for a while saying that oil prices are inflated. They are not supported by market fundamentals. And the reason I base my con conclusion that oil prices are extremely uh, high is that I've been in this business almost 30 years. I talk regularly to the CEOs of oil companies from the largest of them all to very small independent oil and gas companies. They all come to the same conclusion that oil prices do not reflect market fundamentals. In my view, we can produce oil profitably at less than half the current price levels. Now, there was no unexpected changes in the industry fundamental in the last 12 months when oil prices were $65. Now, oil prices are double that today and are likely to go higher because, again, the speculation will continue. Uh, the same tightness in the market will continue. We saw what happened yesterday in the gathering in Riyadh uh, or uh, in Jeddah. And basically, the Saudi government uh, said that it is speculation. It is taxes by uh, 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 countries. Uh, as well as the devaluation of the dollar and the continued uh, demand increase in China and India. The changes in demand in China and India was not new. Actually, demand growth has been trimmed over the last 12 months because of the global economic slowdown. The oil industry, as I said before, can profitably produce oil at less than half the current price. Now, what do we do about speculation? A lot of people talked about speculation. Uh, some people say it had very little to do with uh, the spike in oil prices. Uh, some people think it more than doubled or the cause of doubling uh, oil uh, prices. Uh, as I uh, recommended uh, to the Senate panel in December of last year, we should raise the margin requirement to 50%, similar to the required on stocks. We should bar companies operating in the U.S. from trading oil future on exchanges not in compliance with the U.S. regulators. We cannot close the door here and we open a window outside of the U.S. Uh, we should set trading volume limits by commercial in relation to physical needs. Only those companies that will physically use the oil, we should set industry standards for airlines, for oil companies, for refiners, to see what is the appropriate level that physical inventory that they should hedge. Now, we should limit trading by financials to a percentage of the commercial volume. Yes, some people say we need the liquidity and these people provide service, but we don't want them to control the market as they have in the last few years. We should bar investment banks and other financial traders from owning energy assets. We should separate crude oil trading from other trading and investment services. We should require full disclosure by investment banks of oil trading results. We should impose stiff penalties, including jail terms, on violators. That's the end of my statement. Thank you, Mr. Guide.